Welcome to our 10 Mathematics Practice and Learning Daily Triangle Session 2. A A A Theorem. Today we are going to study a new theorem A A A Theorem that is Angle 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 Theorem. Statement of this theorem is like this. If two triangles are equiangular, then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. The statement can be tell in another way or if two triangles are equiangular, then the two triangles are similar. For proving this theorem, we have to need the diagram. That is, we have to draw two triangles. So, here it is ABC is a triangle and again another triangle D, E, F is another triangle. So, I have to write the first one, it is given part. So, what, what is given here? ABC and DF are the triangle. The first part of the statement is if two triangles are equiangular, means corresponding angles are equal. So, in triangle ABC and in triangle DEF, corresponding angles means first one and the first one A, D, B, E, C, F. So, see here angle A is equal to angle D. I will mark again the second one. Angle B is equal to angle E. Then third one and angle C is equal to angle F that is Q1 part. So this is the first part of the statement. Now second part of the statement is to prove that the two triangles are similar or the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So AB divided by DE. So see that A in triangle A, B, C, A and B are the first and the second letter. Same in triangle D, E, F. D and E, F, E are the first and the second letter. That is A, B divided by D, E. That is again equal to second and the third letter. B, C divided by second and the third letter in D, E, F triangle. That is E, F. That is again equal to third and the first letter. C, A. Again divided by F D. So now construction. For proving this theorem, I need the construction that is cut A B. Cut A B is equal to D G. So A B is equal to D G and A C is equal to D H. So join G and H. So I have joined here with the dotted lines. Now I need the proof. So I got the new triangles that is triangle ABC, this is a smaller one. Again another triangle, same triangle that is DGH. Now I have to prove that triangle ABC and triangle DGH are congruent. So, see here in triangle ABC and triangle DGH. AB is equal to DG. Again, AC is equal to DH because that is in the construction part. Next, angle A is equal to angle D that is already given. Therefore, two sides and including angle that is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DGH because by SAS postulate side angle side postulate these two triangles are congruent. Congruence means remaining sides or corresponding sides are same. Remaining corresponding angles are also same. That is angle ABC is equal to angle DGH corresponding angles but angle ABC is equal to angle E angle ABC is equal to angle DEF 
that that is given it implies that dgh is equal to def and also vc was also equal to gh therefore gh is parallel to ef a line parallel when corresponding angles are equal that is g angle is equal to e because b angle is equal to g angle b angle is also equal to e already in the given part therefore g and e are equal therefore gh is parallel to ef now we apply the thales theorem therefore dg divided by de is equal to gh divided by ef is equal to dh divided by df because corollary of thales theorem therefore ab divided by de is equal to gh means bc divided by ef ef is equal to dh means again ac divided by fd or df so it implies that triangle abc is similar to triangle def thank you